Okay, this is our last installment um, on discussing systems of linear equations. Today we're going to learn how to apply the different methods to a variety of different problems. In other words, when to use graphing, when is it best for substitution, when is it best for elimination. So I want you to pause this video for a moment and look at the content standards, what we're going to be doing today, and then our mathematical practices that we'll be using as we solve our problems. <clears throat> Previously, you've solved systems of equations by using substitution and elimination. Today, we're going to determine the best method for solving systems of equations, and we're going to apply systems of equations to real-world problems. So our concept summary. I would like for you to pause this video and give yourself a moment to put this in your notes so that you can uh, process it. Writing it down will help you understand it. But the best method, the time that you're going to choose graphing is to estimate solutions since graphing usually does not give an exact solution. You just need to determine if there is a solution or not. Substitution, you'll use substitution if one of the variables in either equation has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. You will use elimination by addition if one of the variables has opposite coefficients in the two equations. You'll use elimination by subtraction if one of the variables has the same coefficient in the two equations. And then you'll use elimination by multiplication if none of the coefficients are 1 or negative 1 and neither of the variables can be eliminated by simply adding or subtracting the equations. So let's look at this system of equations to determine the best method. So what do you notice? Well, first of all, we need a solution, so we're not going to graph. We need an exact solution. Um, we don't have a 1 or a negative 1 as a coefficient to either one of these. Uh, we don't have additive inverses, so we can't use addition. So we're going to have to use elimination. So we're going to multiply the first equation by negative 2, so the coefficients of the x terms are going to be additive inverses. So we can just multiply one equation by negative 2. So negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times 3y, negative 6y. Negative 2 times 23, negative 46. Now we add them together and notice our x is going to eliminate. Negative 6y plus 2y is negative 4y. Negative 46 plus 34 is negative 12. Divide both sides by negative 4. We end up with y is equal to 3. So now all we need to do is substitute a 3 in place of y in either of the equations. Here we're choosing the second equation. So notice the place of y, there's a 3. So we have 4x plus 6, because 2 times 3 is 6, is equal to 34. Subtract 6 from each side, so leaves us with 4x is equal to 28. Divide both sides by 4, x is equal to 7. The solution is 7, 3. So now let's check our answer. We're going to go in and substitute a 7 in place of x and a 3 in place of y in the first equation. And we do come out 23 is always equal to 23, so we do have the right answer. Now it's time to check your progress. So you're going to need to pause this video and read the problem. You're determined the best method to solve this system of equation. Then you're going to solve the system. So take a moment, work the problem, restart the video to see if you're right. Good, we can use substitution. It's easy to subtract that 2y from each side, isn't it? And then we'll substitute uh, negative 2y plus 10 in for x. So our solution is 4, 3. 
Okay, now we're going to apply what we have learned about systems of, e of linear equations to real world problems. So let's take a moment to read. You can pause the video. Looking for patterns. We're renting a car, $45.25 a mile. Different car company, $35.30 a mile. So we see a pattern here, something repeating. They're asking us how many miles would a driver need to drive before the cost of renting a car at Ace Car Rental and renting a car at Star Car Rental were the same. We're going to let X equal the number of miles and Y is going to be the cost of renting a car. We have our two equations. So we're going to subtract the equations because we can eliminate the Y variable. They were both positive one coefficients. 0 is equal to 10 minus 0 0.05x. Subtract 10 from both sides. Multiply both sides by what is with the variable. X is equal to 200. So now we're going to substitute 200 in for X. Doesn't matter which equation. Here they're picking the first equation. 45 plus 50, Y is equal to 95. So the solution is 295. This means that when the car has been driven 200 miles, the cost of renting a car will be the same, $95, at both rental companies. Okay, time for you to check your progress. Uh, pause the video, read the problem, and work it. If you need to go back to see uh, the information for previous work, you can do that also. So then you can restart the video and check to see if you're right. Okay, the cost of renting a video game at both the rentals will be uh, after four days. Good job. Now you're ready to work the practice problems.